After nearly a year of delays and date changes, Enid Edwards and Bill John Batiste made an appearance this morning at the Ron DeLugo Courthouse. Sentencing took place in front of District Court Judge Curtis Gomez. Both Edwards and Batiste are co-defendants of former VI police officer Francis Brooks. All three were convicted in January 2011 on 24 counts to include drug trafficking, extortion and robbery between 2000 and 2005. Brooks is scheduled for his sentencing June 21st due to a surgery he's having in Florida. Meanwhile, in the courthouse, attorney Robert King spoke on behalf of his client, John Batiste, saying his client maintains his innocence and that he was wrongfully convicted. On the other side, Kim Linquist spoke on behalf of the government, saying Batiste committed a serious offense and recommended 10 years jail time on the one count Batiste was found guilty of, which was kidnapping. Edwards attorney Jay Srinath asked for a continuance because of a court order that was issued yesterday. Gomez said it was over 70 pages long and that the government had a right to be heard before sentencing for Edwards since it mostly affected her. Edwards walked out of the courthouse today and will be sentenced June 21st with Brooks, according to her other attorney, Russell Pate. Bill John Batiste, on the other hand, was arrested and led out of the courtroom in handcuffs by U.S. Marshals. He was sentenced to five years imprisonment, although he does have 14 days to appeal that sentence. Reporting at the Ronda Lugo Courthouse on St. Thomas, I'm Erica Bivens for News 2.